Hello everybody and welcome back to our WWE 2K24 Universe. Hope you're all doing well. We are back with Raw. And these are our four rivalry matches for today's Raw. We are then having a main event, a fatal four-way match for the chance to face our Incontinental Women's Champion. So guys, hope you all enjoy the show. Let's get to it. And a former Olympian is Chad Gable, an athlete in the mold of some of the greatest amateur wrestlers we've ever seen in WWE. It's a big reason he calls himself the master. Well, Gable's what the old heads would call a shooter. Just an intrinsic... Takedown, put it to the crook, and the rope save it there. But will he be able to last much longer? Rolling into a monkey flip. It might not be flashy, but sometimes you just gotta toss another person to make a statement. Oh, that can dislocate something. Counter from the Celtic Warrior. Finds a counter for Gable. Okay, he's re-entering the ring. Uh-oh. We're gonna see it. What power. Sit down, power bomb. And Gable's lesson plan just got thrown off. Yeah, Sheamus brought the fight in a major way during that exchange. And that was a successful bit of offense with that maneuver. Crank in the head. Moved at the right time. Quick reflex is so important in a match like this. Rolling into a monkey flip. Not the prettiest thing you'll ever see, but it sure looks effective from here. A lot of ways Gable can win this match tonight, Corey. What do you think affords him the best chance to earn the W? Cardio, cardio, cardio. Amateur wrestlers have some of the best motors of it. Soaring! You got it! Uh, whipped oh, across whoa. the ring, and uh-oh, the manager getting involved. Got to keep your head on a swivel. Yeah, very chaotic scene here in this match. Oh, good. See you later. Good. There's Both no ejected. reason for these two managers to be at ringside in the first place. Get them out of here. Well, the playing field is even. Here we go. Referee takes control. And Sheamus now. It's like battling a truck. Sheamus looks possessed. Ooh. Outcoming blows. Sheamus setting up. Irish curse delivery is that done. Irish curse backbreaker. Three massive Irish curse backbreakers. He thinks he has it. Just kicks out. You have to think this match is starting to take its toll. Gable needs to get his wits about him fast. Hoisted up into a powerbomb position, but steady punches provide an escape plan. Powerless position to be in right now. Oh, right to the throat. He is just reeling from that offense. And hanging tough, but beginning to show some wear and tear. Might want to think about picking up the pace a bit. Just got thrown around like a sack of you-know-what. He's getting up, but there's danger in front of him. Lift off. Oh, a huge miss there. <gasps> Lifts them up, then drops them down. Boom! Into a DDT. And shoulders are down. Two. A kick out to stay alive. He thought he had it. Uh-oh. Sheamus anticipated that one. It's two. Short punch. Punch right in the head. Oh, using the rope to their advantage. Very effective. You can see the intent behind that attack. Exploiting the arm must be the strategy here. We might be close to the end. 
Yeah, he's got to dig deep and find another win if he wants to stay in this. Now is the time for Chad Gable to find a way to shift into that extra gear. Talk about intimidation. I'm not sure if it's resilience or stupidity that's going to drive you to try and come back from a move like that. from Chad Gable, keeping him in this match. And Sheamus is definitely no stranger to an epic battle, but he really thought he'd won the war there. Gable's pushing back now. Gable tipping the scales a bit here. And he's here by Sheamus. Good grief. He's going for the pin. This could be it. Sheamus did it. Here is your winner, the Celtic Warrior, Sheamus! Gable was unable to pass the test tonight. Sheamus brought every ounce of fight he had into this match tonight, and it paid off. Ah, I can feel it. Excitement for this match here among the WWE fans. Oh, whoa, whoa, oh. from behind. A sneak attack. Why? Why? Obviously, this rivalry is far from over. Someone, someone stop them, please. There's no way to contain the vitriol that exists between these two. And hostilities boiled over between these superstars before they even got in the ring. Now we have a brawl on our hands. Clearly a ton of hostile feelings in the mix here. Yeah, match or no match, they came to fight. And that's exactly what they're going to do. Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Just punched him right in the mouth. Relentless. Oh, enough already. Boom on a punch. Ooh. What a punch. Ooh, just turn that around. And now thrown back into the ring. Big forearm. Pinpointing the leg. Ooh. Tendons and ligaments in the leg can be easily damaged by that. Ah, bear hugs. Furiously trying to fight his way out of the bear hug. Can he do it? Yes. In control here with a swinging neck breaker. Textbook. No disqualifications has to benefit a certain type of superstar more than others, doesn't it, Corey? Get off your high horse, Cole. A no disqualifications match benefits the superstar who's smarter, faster, and better. Using the rules to your advantage doesn't make you the villain here. And a Oof. stop to the gut, too. Smash! That is just insulting. Crank in the head. Orton to the top. From the top. Elbow drop. Boom. Orton measuring his opponent. Uh oh! Oh, the reversal by Cena. Not the position you want to be in right now. Down on the windpipe. Producing a trampling. Uh, Cena ducks underneath. Couple of shoulder tackles now. Cena, the powerhouse. Gonna finish things up with a slam. 
Oh, God, that hurt. And the battle being brought to the Viper there. This is what Cena does, finding energy and getting it done. Oh, a knee. Lights out. And the man many consider the greatest of all time playing to the crowd. Caught him right in the jaw. Ugh, what a shot. Punched to the stomach and stopped in their tracks. Orton dropping his opponent with clothesline. Ducks out of the way. Snap power slam by the Viper. Setting up for something here. Oh, right to the throat. I thought I'd seen some incredible rivalries in my time, but this might take the cake. Yeah, this has redefined the meaning of bad blood. On a molecular level, they are incompatible. They utterly and completely detest each other. That did not look good, and Orton has started to bleed. Uh-oh, this is not going to end well. Big time power bomb. That was a power bomb with one message in mind. Absolute destruction. The Viper shows his instinct. Oh! Orton's planning and calculations paying off there. Just as he planned it. The Viper's on coil, ready to devour Cena. Great trouble here. Can he get it fully up? That's it. The blind sweat. These two have waited so long for this moment, for this matchup. And oh, come on. on. This is not the way this was supposed to go down. The official, the official just called for the bell. Come on, are you going to condone this cheap shot, Graves? You got to get an advantage by any means necessary. That's what this is about. Rhea Ripley, Charlotte Flair, set to compete in singles action here tonight. An immense amount of respect between these two larger-than-life superstars, but also an intense competitive drive to prove who really is the best between them. You are looking at what makes the WWE Women's Division the best women's wrestling in the world. I bow at the throne of Charlotte Flair, but I cannot deny the significant threat that Rhea Ripley is to the Queen's crown. Dribbling the opponent's head like a basketball. Ah. Uh, might take her head clean off her shoulders. Oh my goodness, smashing the head into an unforgiving surface. Ah, yeah. oh, Charlotte caught by the counter. Oh, right to the shoulder. Lives to fight another day. She heads into the ring. From the top. Tumbling down. She saw that one coming. Paint a picture for me, Corey. Hypothetically, what are some tactics you'd use to win an ODQ match? Well, I'd stash some kendo sticks beforehand. Maybe have a buddy waiting to give me a much-needed hand. Maybe throw Saxton like a fastball special. That's the beauty of a no-disqualification match. You can do all that and not get dinged. The sky is the limit. And no remorse was shown towards Ripley as she absorbed that attack. Dribbling the opponent's head like a basketball. Tremendous. Uh-oh. Ripley with the wherewithal to counter. Mounting a downed opponent, and look at them go over and over and over again. And a slap, too. You can see that each strike drained their opponent's energy. Ooh, just relentless. Oh, look at this. Show it off with a big flex. And then a kick to the back. Beautiful. She turns it right around with a counter. Schoolboy pinning combination. 
Oh, maybe not. But power. Now that's what you call impact. Slips out of the way there. What reflexes? Planet with a face buster. Rhea knowing she has to pull out all the stops now. Rhea Ripley looking to force her opponent to quit. The prism trap is in. Look at the power of the nightmare. Well, this won't. And she lets her free. But the damage was certainly done, Michael. That got bad real quick. Headed to the top rope. She's got her in her sights. Up high. Reversal. Can they go on the attack? Places her right in the corner. The queen teeing off. Making the climb all the way to the top. Charlotte Flair moonsault. Whoa! The Queen absolutely imposing her will on Rhea Ripley there. The only word that comes... Flair stepping through, has it locked in, figure four. Perhaps looking for the bridge, there it is. And she lets her out of the submission. I don't know if it's Mercy or if it's someone who's not done playing with their prey. Ah, what a smash! That is just insulting. Devastating elbow. Back and forth we go. Back and forth. Neither one giving up any ground. There's your winner, ladies and gentlemen. Over the years, we've come to respect Seth Rollins for his technical mastery of in-ring action and his innovative offense. He's a true student of the game who is always learning. Yeah, that constant evolution. Shoulders down to the count. Very soon to be going for a pinfall. Oh, look at this. K oh, kicks. Capped off with a big one. And with an onslaught of strikes like that, it's clear they have nothing but punishment on their mind. Kick to the gut. Cranked around into a neck breaker. Big elbow. Rude Byron. Uh oh. Turning the tables. Oh, he's looking to completely render this leg useless. Stump puller leg snap. Very effective. Rollins showing off his offensive arsenal. Looks like Rude's having trouble generating any sort of defense. Just carrying the opposition anywhere they want. A power bomb is not meant to be pretty, but oh man, does it get the job done. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they're going to be taking any more of those. And we are down to the proverbial wire here, guys. The match hanging in the balance. Time to get back in the ring. Slight blood. He could pin his opponent right here. Oh my, how in the world did he kick out of that? I didn't think this match was close to over. Impressive reversal on Rollins. Uh-oh. Driving a knee into the arm. And Rollins capitalizes. The top of the foot right in the face. You can't get caught in a hailstorm like that if you want to win. Boom. Nice. He's struggling a bit here. Seth with an absolutely predatory attack there. He heads outside. Countout's legal in this match. Oh! <laughs> Seth Rollins going to put his opponent away. The Revolution knee finds the mark. There's the setup. Here we go.
Trying to put them away, able to counter him into a clothesline. Catches the kick. Dragon screw. And gets tossed back into the mat. Oh, is it enough here? Big kick out. You have to think this battle is starting to weigh down on him. Super kick. Can Rude withstand much more of this? And the visionary showing the real. Oh my God. Crash landing. To the back of the neck. Scottish sickle. Doesn't bow well if you still can't get more than a one count by now. Oh, man. Up the turnbuckles. What's he going to do? He's got the target acquired. Just a matter of moments. Perched up top. Countered and planted with a well-timed power slam. Oh, caught him. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No way. Double underarm hook. Blocked and... And a clothesline counter. Hits him with the counter. Rollins is feeding off the WWE Universe. Oh, man. Ouch. From Rollins, springboard knee. So well matched. These men aren't giving up. Seth Rollins. Stop! Rude felt the full force of that one. So there's down. Uh, the referee was about to help the winner celebrate. They wouldn't have none of that. Hey, good on him for being ready. Fending off the attackers. What is it you always say, Graves? Gotta have eyes in the back of your head. At all times. This is exactly why. Here we go, and this one is sure to be a highlight-driven fatal four-way for the record books. And our combatants in this fight are Candice LeRae, Nikita Lyons, Io Sky, and Caden Carter. It is going to be extremely interesting to see how things shake out. No time to rest in a fatal four-way match. No rest for the wicked, and we've got four superstars who have nothing but malicious intentions for one another. Nowhere to hide in this one. Oh, brutal. Hooked up, DDT. She goes for the quick pin. And she really took her time getting out of that one. That gets reversed on Nikita. Oh my, dragon screw. Oh, that'll rattle you. She scores big with the counter. Slam. Referee in position. The pin's broken up. <laughs> Byron, would you agree that in a matchup like this, you have to move quickly and know when to seize the opportunity? Absolutely. That could be the difference maker. The windows of opportunity are so small in this environment. And being at the right place and a quick pin attempt. the count before two. Getting that shoulder up seemed to be pretty easy. Super kick! Bang! Right over the left field bleachers. Oh! Every successive move is putting their opponent in a dicey situation. Oh, look at the start of this. Could be going into the playbook for submission. Almost a miraculous escape and a side slam. Will this be enough? She kicks out and one. Fighting hard to stay in this match. Byron, I love 
this move. This is one of my all-time favorites. The Wicked Stepsister. Can you believe it? Candice LeRae. Boom! With the stop. Can she score the pin? And the count's broken, keeping the match alive. Counter by Candice. Oh, by the hair! Whipped across the ring. That ain't right. She's enduring some damage. Lions capitalized on the opportunity. Just one step ahead. Elbow thrown, saying not today. to the top. Take off. Moonsault connects. That has Nikita Kent in the lights. Running interference. Not where you want to be right now. Beautiful shot block. And this match will head back to the ring. She sent flying into the corner. These women keeping this intensity. How are they not entirely drained by now? Pure adrenaline's got to be taken over. It's the only explanation. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. Nice scoop slam. Sky focused on finishing this. Eo looking for a submission face first. It's locked in, the Koji clutch. You can see the agony on her face. This is... She is trying to break out of this. Ooh, and elbow does the job. Oh, my gosh. She got the shoulders down. Now we see Carter. She kicks out with force. There's some shock in the arena after that kick out. Impactful connection from the hip attack. For a schoolboy. Uh-oh. Look at this athleticism, unique takedown. The hammerlock, flatliner. Will it be? And still in this. Somehow she's still in this matchup. It's unbelievable. Muscling up their opponent, fireman's carry position. So impressive. the face. Shoulders down. This could be the one that does it for her. And there's the breakup. Just in the nick of time. Oh my god. Ooh. Boom. Close line to the back of the neck for the victory here. That could have been it right there. Picks the leg of their opponent. Steps through. Here we go. Lock. Rolling, breaking it up at the last second. There it is. And now this superstar looking to flex their submission skills as their opponent all tied up. Rolling Deathlock cinched in. Oh. And they get the win. What a fatal four way. at the winner of this fatal four-way match, ladies and gentlemen. We saw a tremendous amount of heart from all four of these women tonight.